All right, guys, we're back. I got the replacement anodes for the crankcase. This is the Yamaha LF150XTR or TXR 2006 model, and that is because of the letter right here. So, letter indicates year produced, and there's the LF150 TXR. I'm sure 64P does something too. Sometimes in the parts diagram, you'll see a 63P, a 64P. Yeah, I learned my lesson. You gotta get it right. First thing I should do is photo that thing. And also down here is a spark plug as well. Get as much part information as you can before you start buying parts online. I've been pretty good. Maybe bought one field filter that was in, incomplete or inaccurate, but that's fine. So this A note, as you remember, came off. It was clean. I need to replace it with a new zinc on the end. I put some grease on the ends just for the bolts, not to seize up. Um, this one was no big deal. I bought a new one of these and put in this whole assembly, which came with the anode, the uh, gasket, and of course the housing. And I put that in the back. I'm waiting for one more right here to put in. That should be here today or Monday. And that's it, guys. And I blew out this thing again with some air to get the particles out. And now I'm going to check the fuel filter. So again, once again, this is going to be a quick little, this is 12 millimeter, it's 10, 10 millimeter socket. Once again, this is going to be a quick little check the A nodes and move on. This became almost waiting on parts, trying to get the A nodes off and breaking bolts and stuff like that. Once I got it out and fishing out the A nodes it became a multi-day effort. It's, so you got to watch that. And uh, if anything, how much is your time worth? You can either pay someone or my, my uh, other route would be to check these every six months to a year, just pop them out and see how they're doing and make sure they're not all seized up and corroded. Because again, the anodes themselves, the zincs are roughly nine bucks, eight bucks. The whole assembly is 32 bucks, meaning the whole housing, the gasket with the anode. So there you go. I mean, it's not rocket science. I've never done this before. I never had a saltwater boat. I've had a brackish freshwater, but uh, yeah, you learn as you go, man. I know it's to people it's easy crap. Oh, they know this? I don't know it. I'm learning as I go and I'm figuring I'm documenting it for my purposes. And if someone else gets help from this, perfect. All in all, the motor's in pretty decent shape, except for this bang up here. I have no idea what happened there. I'd probably never notice because you know the price of the boat was so low, it's like 13K. I said, done. The motor alone is probably worth 10. Uh, 150, some just rust I see is on the brackets. Big deal. And that's for the, the pier right there. That's for the pier. The oil's fine. I checked it. It's clear. It's not cloudy. I greased everything up. Anyway, boring you. I'm just doing this as my personal mental checklist. Uh, put a new Zerk fittings in that broke off, that I noticed were broke off. And uh, that's, that's all there is to it. Hey, next on, onward. Let's go up the little ladder here. Is, and I'm going to fall is the fuel filter. Bum, bum, bum. I'm just gonna replace that real quick. I'm just on little brick by brick, guys. Next thing would be, um, like I said, I got the hatch off with my special homemade tool. Got the access door off here. I buffed the cowling. Look how shiny that thing is. It used to be hazy and crappy. And uh, brick by brick, guys, hope this helps. I will make keep making little videos as I go. Right now, they're all chopped up because I'm waiting on parts, I'm waiting on weather. As you can see, this is a tropical storm south of Cuba, and it's affecting us in the Keys. So it's been crappy for the past two weeks. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh, and I also got the NEMA cable plugged in right here, routed it, and it's right under here right now. I have it tied off. I have to route it up to the center, and that's why I pulled this hatch off, and God knows what's living down here, probably mosquitoes. Yep. Great. Okay, boat ownership, guys. For a little boat like this with a 150, 20 foot or center console, it's still a lot of work. Uh, but I enjoy it. Do you guys enjoy it? I do. All right, I'm out.